Okay. All right. So building your book of business with Facebook. Um, that is the name of our presentation here today. And I am uh, Dynamic Tammy. I have, just it. I have, um, that is my name and you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on Facebook. Um, you can email me. And um, I am available after this as well. So feel free to email me, ask me questions. Um, I'm going to be here for you guys today. This is a, um, a free seminar that we are putting on uh, through the PPAW, Promotional Products Association of Wisconsin. Um, so enjoy it. And uh, certainly, if you can learn one thing from here today, you're going to be good, good to go. All right, what we will dive into today. Number one, why Facebook for business? We'll get into that really quickly and shortly. Uh, we wanna know, um, we're gonna be talking about knowing your target audience. We're gonna be talking about what you should be posting on Facebook, okay? We're gonna also give you some tips for winning on Facebook. And um, then at the end, I have three free tools and resources uh, to help you. And then we're gonna open it up to questions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go as, um, as quickly as I can. Um, I don't want to go too fast for you guys, but we also are going to be um, picking one company or one person here today that is going to get a free Facebook audit, okay? And so we're going we're gonna to help somebody out here today. But we'll do that at the very end. Michaela will help me with that. Um, all right, so let's get into it. Buy Facebook for business. If you have any idea on how many people are on Facebook, let me know. It's crazy. A few years ago, Facebook, if it were, if it were a country, it would be the third largest country in the world. 1.69 billion people in 2020 are using Facebook, all right? So that just gives you an idea of one of the reasons that you should be on Facebook. Here is, um, through Statistica, Facebook, you can kind of see how it just dominates the social media landscape. Now, I don't see LinkedIn on here. Um, that is another one of my favorite social medias, but definitely Facebook is dominating. And you can see here too, that even the ages now, um, age 18 to 29, they're on Facebook as well. Um, you know, the general uh, theme though is probably age 35 and up that is really using Facebook. So Facebook is changing and it's changing all the time. So that is why I like to have um, these Facebook webinars because um, we try to keep up on a lot of what is happening and it changes so quickly, right? Uh, here are some things that are happening with Facebook right now. So right now, if you take a look at Facebook, you can actually book appointments. You can, and if you see here, I have on here, it says book now. You can change your little button to make appointments. It's a free scheduling tool that they have uh, on Facebook right now. So if you're, you know, maybe you're a insurance company, a retail company, anybody that may be a real estate company that books appointments, this might be a great uh, option for you. And I know um, today we have a lot of different businesses out there. So we have a good, uh, I, I tried to put in a good mix of things to kind of give you guys some ideas, but we have manufacturers, we have distributors, we have uh, suppliers out there. Uh, financial businesses. I know there's some colleges that are on here today as well, promotional product industry people and, um, and the like. So um, we're going to keep going here. Virtual shops. Facebook now has their own native mobile friendly shop. So if you're selling things, hey, this is another opportunity for you. And ever since COVID, um, happened, they've really taken some steps to, um, to help businesses out, which is awesome. Digital gift cards. You can actually purchase digital gift cards. And this is a great, it's another retail uh, service. But um, if you, again, are in that industry to do this, um, Lindsay, you know, the Shano uh, district downtown, I mean, this is an option. This is a really great option. And it's new. 
All right, so everybody, we are on Zoom today, right? Well, Facebook has the messenger room right now, and it's very similar to Zoom. And guess what? It's free. So we're paying for this Zoom here today, but Facebook now has a messenger room and you can get up to 50 people in it. So when you're looking at your phone, um, you can see here, it says create room. You're gonna be clicking on the people button down here. And then, I don't know if you guys can see my cursor, but whoops, whoa, I'm jumping around here. Um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna create room and you can invite people to your messenger room. So if you wanna have meetings, you know, virtual meetings, which that seems to be the norm here today um, in this time and age. So check it out, play around with it. The only way that you guys are going to um, learn this stuff is by trying it, trial and error. And it's kind of scary, but you know what? Just, just give it a try. Try it out with some of your friends first and see how that goes. All right, I used, this is another new thing here. This I used yesterday, so data download tool. Facebook uh, now has, um, for example, I had a client that we needed to download um, all of the photos from. And it doesn't just do the photos, it does everything from their Facebook page. So you can do that and what it does, and here's the instructions for it. And um, basically what it does, it creates a zip file and you've got everything right there that you had on your, on your Facebook page. So this is a pretty cool option. All right. So um, COVID-19 resource page. I'm sure that a lot of you have seen this, but if you haven't seen it, um, this is one way, again, that Facebook is trying to help out people, and they have some resources on here for you. Okay, one of them I saved, I saved for last year. This is one of my favorites. So um, I was just talking about, um, uh, in our meeting yesterday, hashtags. So Facebook used to, um, you know, when you put a hashtag in after your social media post, um, Facebook didn't make it very, um, oh, I wanna say hashtag friendly, but now, if you see a, a hashtag, like down here, it says woman leaders, right? And I want you guys to play around with this too. I'm challenging you to play around with these things. If you click on that, it's going to take you to a feed of everything in Facebook that has that hashtag of women leaders. So you're going to see all of the posts in there. So it's making those hashtags more um, shareable. So you're going to, you're going to be able to, um, people are gonna be able to see your post or it's gonna help you with SEO. It's gonna help bring your post to more people. And this is a new thing. And maybe later if we have a chance, maybe if we have time, I can kind of show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so before you do anything with Facebook, you really, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm starting here because you really need to know who your audience is and where they are on social media. Um, again, like Facebook is the place to be, but you know, maybe your, you know, maybe you should focus more of your audience on LinkedIn, which is B2B, right? So you need to know who your audience is and where they are on social media. So I got some advice uh, a long time ago from a, a financial uh, gal, Mary from CPA Focus. And she said to me, she says, who are your clients? You know, who are you targeting? And if you don't know who you are targeting, I want you to go through your AB clients, okay? And I call those AB clients, clients that you love to work with, that make you the most money, um, that bring you profit, that, that, are re that come back time after time. That's your ideal client. And you need to know who those are. And you want to label them, you know, your A's and your B's, right? And those are the people that you need to focus on. Once you have your ideal client, then you're gonna know, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to figure out where they are on social media, okay? Number three, what should you be posting on Facebook? So uh, at Dynamic Designs, we do a lot of social media for a lot of different clients. 
and um, and a lot of people do their own social media, which is awesome because you guys know your business um, better than anybody. But everybody always asks the question, um, "What should I be posting?" I have no idea what to post, right? And oh my gosh, I'm going to show you some great examples here of all different kinds of things that you should be posting on Facebook to give you some ideas because this is where a lot of us struggle is with that content part of it. All right, so number one here, let's post with your client in mind. So you've got that ideal client, right? What you want to do is think about what challenges that they have. And if you were like them, if you were in their shoes, what would you guys like to see? What would you guys like to learn? Um, Facebook is not about, you don't want to be selling all the time, right? You, you want to be able to add some value to your potential audience or your audience. And, you know, if this is just an example of an article on bike safety that someone put out there. Um, actually, that was one of you guys, because I, I actually looked at some of your Facebooks and, um, and grabbed a few things from there for this presentation so you could see. But um, this is great because um, you know, this is it's not sell, sell, sell. It's it's giving uh, value, adding value to your tribe. All right, and you can see these little emojis in here. We're going to talk about that later. All right. So if you have, um, for example, if you are a manufacturer or if you're a promotional products uh, distributor and you have new products out there make sure you're sharing those new products. That's a great way to get uh, information out to your target audience, share it. And um, for those of you uh, that are um, suppliers out there and the posts that you, you know, think about this, so the posts that you are creating are actually for your distributors who are selling your products. So make sure those posts are, are shareable so that, for example, uh, Magnetel, um, puts out some great um, videos and uh, promotional things that I can grab and I can share with my clients. So make sure you know, again, who your target audience is. And I'll give you an example too. I have, a, I have another manufacturer and they're on Facebook. Their target audience is not their customers. Their target audience is actually their employees. So they are trying to... Um, feature culture in their company. They want to make sure that anyone looking at it wants to come. They're having problems finding employees, right? As everybody is. So they're putting posts out there that um, would engage people to want to come to work with them. All right, here's a, here's a post that we, uh, we did the other day. I think Jennifer did this. Um, how to use your product. So um, our thing is always about inspiring our clients. Um, we want to give them ideas on how they can use our branded promotional products, right? And here is um, a wallet, a sticky wallet thing. You usually put it on the back of your phone, right? And you can put credit cards in it. So here's something, just something a little bit different. We stuck it inside a boot and you can kind of see here um, that um, there's, there's other ways to use promotional products and this is just one of them. So make sure that you are um, sharing your ideas. And look here, 12 engagements. And this is, when I sh show this down here, your engagements is very um, important with Facebook. So it's not about, it's necessarily about all the likes you get. Engagement is the comments, um, back and forth, people talking back and forth. Um, it's video views, it's shares of that post. That is what Facebook wants to see, that interaction. And then your posts are gonna go more viral, okay? All right, trends and ideas. People search the internet all the time. And you know it yourself. You guys are, you know, you wanna find something out, you're gonna search for the internet for ideas and inspiration, all right? So photos are hot. Um, here is uh, uh, Evolution showing um, a tone-on-tone -tone, uh, embroidered shirt, right? So, you know, they're, they're, they're giving ideas, trends, ideas, inspiration. Again, that's what people are looking to get. And here is um, 
here's a builder, a local builder in the area. And I love using custom creations because they do, Lisa over there does an amazing job. If you want to follow somebody um, that's in a different industry, um, definitely take a look at custom creations. She's got a great page and she's just showing, she's talking about window seats here and, um, and the different, um, you know, how they put these in and just inspiring people. It's extra storage space, um, 140 engagements. Okay. That's, that's really unheard of. 623 people reached. That is what you guys are looking for. All right, here's another one, blogs, articles. Um, you want to definitely share your blog. So you, wanna, you do want to get them back to your website because your website is the hub of everything. Um, one of the things that I will mention about this, so this is not uh, necessarily the ideal way to put a link right in, um, in the in your first uh, part here because Facebook doesn't want people to leave the platform okay so maybe if I were gonna do this over I would say hey go to our website check it out under our blogs we have um, we have our newest blog there or a way around that is to put that URL that sharing link in the comments below and it's gonna help your post go more viral Again, Facebook kind of um, penalizes you for putting it in this area. So I just wanted to share that with you. Behind the scenes. <clears throat> and I do have a link here too, so you guys can actually see this. It's just a, you know, it's just a video, but um, people love to go behind the scenes because they have no idea, you know, for example, uh, embroidery. Uh, people have no idea how we embroider. They think, you know, you press a button and, you know, it, it pops it out. That's not the case. Um, so people love to see that behind the scenes stuff. So even walking around the office, showing them what your office is, showing them what you're working on. If you're a landscaper, um, you know, giving them behind the scene things. All right, let's see here. Here's another one, uh, another local company. Uh, this guy does the cement, um, <clears throat> the patios at JC Santee Construction. He does an amazing job at sharing his, um, when he's done. And sometimes you'll see some before and after pictures, and that is another amazing thing to do. So um, definitely sharing what you've done, your inspiration to other people. Here is um, some radiant flooring. Boy, do you ever want to wonder what radiant flooring, how it looked like? Well, here it is. Um, some, great, some great pictures from Portside Builders here. Okay, <laughs> so here is something I did just, I think it was yesterday or, or the day before. Um, uh, live video is hot. Right now, video gets engagement. Okay, so that is definitely a picture of me, but it's a video. Um, and I just kind of went on just on a whim, all right? And it's pretty scary when you're doing it too, because you just never know what's going to happen or what you're going to say. And then you look at it later and go, oh my God, what did I do here, right? But it got some awesome engagement. Look at that, 466 people reached 58 engagement, and that is a Facebook Live. So that's not uploading a picture or uploading a video. That is actually standing there live and doing that video. That gets so much more engagement. So of course, it is very scary doing that, but people love that. They love that transparency. And here, Facebook Live. So I'm just going to give you some ideas here. So maybe you have um, a, a new construction. You want to do a walkthrough on a new construction, right? Or maybe you're a plumber and you want to show someone how to unplug a toilet. That might be kind of scary to show. Um, live video behind the scenes at your company. Just walking around and, you know, you know walking around in different um, rooms asking questions. I mean, that's that's kind of fun to do. Uh, do you have a new product, a new color, a new shade, a new share? Um, maybe you're a bakery and you're, you know, you could take them into the kitchen. Um, how about an interview with the homeowner? Um, and, and I have a lot of construction things because we do a lot for construction and manufacturing. So I just want to share that with you. And the real estate, what about, you know, showing a home virtually? You know, people, a lot of people don't want to go out right now, right? So maybe to get some engagement, you can actually show, um, you know, do something with a virtual show. All right, next one here, time-lapse. 
Oh gosh, this is fun. So um, this is actually an example of a time lapse. And you guys again can click on that link and check it out. Uh, but think about this, um, you know, and I'm just, I'm thinking Lindsay Johnson, I am thinking about Shano and, you know, um, we had uh, Body Essentials. They redid their whole, um, their whole interior store and they were, you know, they were coming on and, and showing things. Um, but gosh, what about a time lapse of something of redoing something in your, in your office, or maybe you are um, a closet company. And you know you create space for people or clutter. You clean up clutter. Whatever it might be, uh, time lapses are are really cool too, and people love to watch that. And again, this is something that you can put on your website. Um, anything uh, that you know is going to add some value here. And I always like to say, you know what? Don't forget about the simple things. Oh gosh, this is so simple to do. The holidays, uh, donut day, secretary's day. Those are such simple posts and you can schedule those. You can get those, you know, um, way into the feed way ahead of time so that if you're busy, you're, these things are gonna post for you. And people, people like that. They like that social engagement. Community. All right, so if you are a company, whatever you do, and a lot of you guys, you do this, uh, you have causes community causes, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you are sharing that information with your audience because people love that giving back, right? So here is a post that, um, that we did. And basically, uh, we, we teamed up with um, a couple nonprofits and uh, the school district the seniors were not able to have senior graduation, right? And what we did was we, we got a bunch of banners and we put them around, um, around the city, around the village, and um, anyways, and then shared this post um, on Facebook. And we got 129 engagements with that post, 302 people reached. So that is what people are looking for. So if you're looking for that engagement, and you're, you want to build that tribe that you have, um, share some of the community stuff that you guys do. You know, you, you have drives, you have, I mean, there's just, there's, it's so much. You donate, you give a check to a charity. Make sure that you are um, sharing that information with those people because you're just going, you're, see, Facebook is, um, oh, how do I want to say this? You know, it's, it's like that, um, Te it's a, a testimonial. I mean, it's, it's Facebook is, it, oh gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm lost for words right now, but okay, let's just keep going here. Um, <laughs> here's another one. Here's another community one. Um, this is a coloring contest um, that a, a Hawker's Plumbing did. And look at, look at this cute stuff. And then when you get kids in here, um, people love to share that stuff, okay? This is awesome. Testimonials. So when you want to do something, what do you guys do? You go to Facebook and you ask for recommendations, right? Okay, so this is a great place also to share those um, reviews and testimonials that you get. Um, here's one that was, that was done for, for Custom Creations and Custom Creations was tagged in this too. All right, so you're always wondering what to post. Here's a cool thing the Brown County Home Builders um, posted, you know, saying thank you to Happy Ad Administrative Professionals Day. And thank you, and it got 43 engagements, 950 people. Um, just a fun little post saying thank you. Here's another opportunity. So, you know, we partner with a lot of different companies that are out there. And uh, you know, you guys may partner. A mortgage company may partner um, with a with a real estate company. So if you're doing that, make sure you guys um, are giving kudos to each other, right? And you're tagging each other in um, in the Facebook post. This is just an example of one, and here's another example of a company um, tagging another company. And if you don't know how to do that, uh, it's very simple. You're just gonna you put the at sign down and then you start typing the company um, that you're trying to take. And if you have a question on any of this, when we are done with Facebook, uh, with this presentation, um, please feel free to reach out to me, either, either give me a call or email me and I can kind of go through some stuff. 
inform your tribe. So this is a huge one. And I see a lot of good stuff happening with this. So with this COVID, people, people are wondering what the heck, what the heck you are doing to make things safe for them. So make sure that you are letting them know, are you doing curbside pickup? Are you taking extra precautions? Um, you know, are you wearing, are people, do they have to wear a mask? They want to know if they need to wear a mask to come in. You know, the YMCA um, uh, in Green Bay is doing a great job of that. And um, so make sure that you are very transparent. I can't say that enough, um, but, you know, share your hours uh, because a lot of places are closed, right? A lot of places have different um, hours. You want to share that information because people are searching for that. They're looking for that. All right, so a good rule of thumb, if you really want to promote yourself, right, is the 80-20 rule. So 80% of the time, you are not promoting yourself, all right? You're adding value to your customers. You're adding value to the people that are your target audience. So you can promote yourself, though. I, you know, that is one thing. That's what it's all about. We're trying to get sales, right? We're trying to get new customers, right? So don't forget to do that as well. So this is just something, you know, showcase at homes. Tickets uh, are available. And so they're promoting themselves in an indirect kind of way. But um, make sure that you are doing it. Even to tooting your own horn, okay? Here's a magazine article. Um, so if you're if you're featured in a in a newspaper, a magazine, um, or you know somebody else you know is featured in there, share that information. That goes a long way. People love to see that. It's kind of like a third party thing. All right. So uh, before and after, people love the before and after page. Uh, pictures and if you want to follow a really awesome company um, whoops okay um, is going to be custom plating specialist they are a chromium uh, manufacturer in Brilliant and I'm going to tell you he does an amazing job uh, featuring before and after pictures so he takes these old rusty parts right and they show that and then they show uh, sometimes they'll show the process and um, create videos, this is actually a video here. Um, and then they'll show the after pictures of how they do it. People love this stuff, they eat this stuff up. Look here, 67 engagements, 488 people. And these posts, all of these posts that I'm sharing with you are not paid posts, they're organic posts. Um, I have his link in here too. Uh, so one of the things I, I, I'm gonna challenge you guys to do too is that um, you know, you, you want to be looking at what your competition is doing, right? But you also, you need to be looking at what other industries are doing and what's working for them. This is working for these guys. You might not be in the chroming industry, but how can you take what he is doing um, and apply it to your business? Okay, so look at other industries that things are working and be the first industry to do something crazy like, you know, whatever it is. Um, get personal, get social. That's what Facebook is all about. The best posts are about people, birthdays, anniversaries, office puppies, okay? We have an office puppy here. People eat that stuff up too. Um, th this is what life is all about. Uh, not only that, you know, doing uh, inspirational quotes. People like to see that. They're looking to get, you know, uplifted. Here is a, it's a great day for a birthday. Um, happy birthday and um, something so simple yet it really works uh bruce you're watching today um i okay so don't be afraid people to try something totally different and crazy so we always um you know at dynamic designs we uh we talk about we always have fun that's one of our core things that we do here um but I'm going to tell you, we're, we do a fashion show. So we do promotional products, right? And we uh, created a ladies uh, a fashion show this summer. We're doing one a month. And uh, we feature us ladies wearing apparel. But we wanted to put a post out there 
um, prior to the fashion show. We have another one coming up too, by the way. So we took Bruce since he wasn't going to be able to be part of the fashion show. Although maybe we're going to, he's going to be the fashion show next time. I think we might dress him up. But anyways, look at this. Uh, Michaela, did you do this? Did. Yeah, Michaela did this. Okay. So um, she put uh, Bruce's, <laughs> she imposed his face on, um, this uh, cute picture here and but it's for ladies only and look at the look at the reach and the engagement this post did go viral okay Bruce you are looking good there um, and 136 engagements ah uh, I just I you know it's something you have to you just try something different and look what happens right um, you zig when everybody's zagging and so this is this is just to give you an idea of the crazy things that you can do. And your company might not be as crazy as ours, or you know maybe it is a little bit more professional, and you have to. But there are things that you can do um, that are different. So make sure you look at other industries. All right, so we got some tips here. Um, don't forget. Um, I see this all the time. People forget to take photos. So if you're, especially if you have. Um, you're in the industry and you have products and take photos don't forget to do that that was just a little hint there for you all right so much of what I see is that um, people um, and, and actually I looked at some of yours there are some of you uh, so I want you to make sure you're doing this connect your Facebook to your website so when people are on your website make sure that you have a little Facebook icon somewhere where they can connect it in case they can't find it because some of the Facebook is difficult to find all right so I know there are some of you out there I've looked and I didn't um, you know I, I can go back and if I see anyone that uh, I need that needs to do this I'll let you know uh, number two optimize your Facebook page uh, business profile page and here are a few tips to do that okay um, when you're looking at your page it's in the edit page info all right and you can see the arrow there and you can always come back to this but it's in the arrow and you want to make sure that you have a description a general description of your company and uh, Facebook kind of walks you through this you get 255 characters to do this you can write a nice short summary but it's important that you do this because this is going to help you get found and bring you higher up in the search engines all right let's see here all right, you can also add up to 10 uh, service areas and um, in the service areas. So make sure that if you are a, um, you know, a local company and people come to you and you want to, you know, share the areas that you, um, that you service, you can do this in there and it's important to do this. All right, you also, especially right now, you wanna make sure your hours are up to date. I don't know how many companies, um, I've seen that their hours are not up to date. So I'm telling you it's important because if people are gonna you know, take the drive out and, and you're not open, um, that's, that's not gonna be a good thing, all right? You can also add services and photos and I highly advise you to take a look at that. You click on services and you can very simply add a service. You can add a picture with it and um, it is important to do this because it is going to help you optimize your Facebook and it's going to bring you again it's going to bring you higher in the search engine you want to post at least three times a week preferably once a day um, but you know what sometimes that doesn't always work right um, if you only have time for once a week uh, learn you can learn how to schedule posts and um, just remember that consistency wins and how to schedule um, they've changed this too in Facebook so you want to go to your publishing tools and um, when you create your post you can see um, this is where you create your post and then um, let's see here in the share now it's just below that you that's where you can go and you can click and you can schedule your post all right so if you don't do that or or let's say you're on vacation right or you're going on vacation and you want to plan for things um, this is a great thing to do you can actually go and schedule your post 
Number four, uh, I want you to think about a pay to play mentality. Consider boosting a Facebook uh, advertising or, or doing an advertising campaign. We do a lot of uh, advertising campaigns, but, um, and it's a little bit more, there's a little bit more to the advertising, but boosting is very simple. And sometimes Facebook will come on there and say, hey, your post is doing really, really good. Why don't you boost it? It's a good thing to listen to Facebook because they know, and your, your post is gonna go more viral by listening to them. Now, um, just to give you an idea, maybe only 10%, let's say you have a thousand followers, right? We have a thousand followers. Um, on any given post, it's potentially, it's probably only 10% that is actually seeing your post. So that's kind of a bummer. And that's why I'm, you know, we sh shared some, some creative things because the more creative you can get, the more, uh, engagement you get, the more viral that post will go. Number five, you want to utilize Messenger. Uh, you want to take conversations offline to Messenger if you can. And if anybody, I'm not going to get into ManyChat, but ManyChat is a bot messenger. And um, if you want to look at um, having a bot and something that would talk to your customers while that, so that you wouldn't have to, um, ManyChat is a good option for that. All right, you also want to change your username so it's easier to find you. I mean, I've got a couple examples here, so I want to show you. Um, so you can see over here where the arrow is, Carpentry Unlimited LLC, and not that I'm picking on them, but I am. Um, and then up in the URL up here, you can see that real long name, right? So it's hard to find that information. So you want to make sure that you go and you change that. There's that. You want to change that um, and you can see here here's another example of another real real long one but you can change that all you got to do is you know this at port side builders this has got to get changed to at port site and it changes the whole thing uh, number seven don't think about the likes think about the engagement and this whole time that's what i've been talking about engagement adding value facebook focuses on more shares and more comments um, than on the likes, right? Quality versus quantity. It didn't always used to be that way either. All right, so here um, is an example of, let's see, what am I doing here? Oh, another uh, great post here. So what um, they're talking about a farm sink, the timeless look, another, again, adding value. And um, you can see here again, 35 engagements um, and it's just it's just amazing what you can what you can actually do when you're thinking about the customer all right so here's number eight getting creative add a logo or a little professionalism into your design so Michaela does a lot of this for our customers um, so that they these posts look very very professional um, you know they don't all have to be professional, but you know, on a whim, um, you, can, you can do a lot of stuff without these tools. But these are two great tools, Canva and Ripple. Um, and you can create you know, professional looking posts, very professional looking posts. I've got some links to these at the end too, so don't worry about that. Um, all right, so number nine, be real. Don't be someone or something that you are not. Again, I talk about transparency through the whole thing. Um, Facebook lives are a great way to do this. People just, you know, they can, they can see through things. Number 10, we're talking about emojis. So in email marketing, you don't want to add the emojis, okay? That's just not what you do. But in social media, these uh, emojis actually help a post go more viral. There we go. All right, so again, what is more important and most important in Facebook? Is it likes, is it reach, is it engagement? It's definitely engagement, definitely engagement. All right, okay, I wanna make sure that I get this in here too. So um, you want to definitely take a look at your insights, okay? The insights are, um, it's, this is how you measure what's working and what's not working. And you can do this every single week. You can see how things are, are looking. Um, if you don't have, uh, maybe I think it's 100 followers, you might not be able to see the insights or all of them. But 
you definitely want to take a look at your insights. It's your data. It's your, you know, reporting. You can kind of see here um, how these videos do. And you can learn from your posts and what, you know, what's happening with them. Okay, good. So we're going to get into the free tool. So here's a free trial. Again, I'm going to send you this presentation. I'm going to put the, these links are in here. So um, when you get this, you can click on this and go right to the free trial. Canva is an awesome program, very simple to use. And um, I highly encourage it. You can do videos, you can do um, social media posts. Oh my gosh, within a minute, you could probably have a couple of them done. And it's, they're just so fun to do. Ripple is another one that, um, that I use to create videos and videos with music. Um, again, you can do this one, both of them, I believe, right from your phone. So if you're a person that is on the go and, um, and you want to try something really cool, Ripple is another cool one. Social Bee. So this is a newer tool for us. We've used some other ones in the past, but let's say that you have to do a lot of uh, social media or you have different, maybe you have clients, maybe you're a marketing agency. I know we have some marketing agencies out there. Um, if you are looking for a uh, tool to help schedule everything, um, social media or social B, excuse me, is a really cool, um, cool thing to use. All right, so this is my contact information here, um, Tammy at dynamicdesignsplasky.com. And you can find me on LinkedIn. You can give me a call. You can text me. But I am going to flip, um, stop the screen here, and I just want to, um, I just want to ask if anyone here uh, has any questions. Um, feel free. This is the time to to ask. Um, any questions and you have to unmute yourself. Whoops, let's see here. No, no questions. Am I, I just want to make sure. Okay. So Michelle says, oh, okay, this was awesome. Thanks, Michelle. So, um, all right. So what I'm going to do, everybody, if you do have questions, you know what, and if you're just a shy kind of person, um, actually, I was I going to show you something. Maybe not. Okay, I, I'm trying to remember what I was going to show you guys, but um, does anybody want to see anything on Facebook? Because I can flip my screen around again and kind of just show you, um, you know, how to do something. If you're looking how to do something, now is the time. Nope. Okay. All right. Any questions? I want you guys to throw it in the chat, or I want you to email me. Um, definitely everybody's got a free question so what we're gonna do right now um, we're really excited so we got we have a whole bunch of um, uh, names in here okay and so what we promised was that um, we are gonna give a free social media um, Facebook analysis okay to whatever company is in here and again if this um, you know I'll touch base with whoever we pick here Okay, I'm gonna have Michaela pick it so you guys don't think I'm, I'm not cheating or anything like that. Okay, so the winner, Lois. Oh, this is awesome, okay. So Lois, um, you, Lois, P-U-L-V-E-R-M-A-C-H-E-R, you um, get a free analysis of your um, Facebook page. If you don't want that, let me know because we'll just pick somebody else. Um, but anyways, I want to thank everybody here for joining us today. We're going to have um, an upcoming one, uh, a couple more seminars coming up. One's going to be on LinkedIn. One's going to be on Constant Contact. If you don't know um, either of those, or if you want to learn a little bit more about those, um, just stay tuned. And again, I want you guys to follow our Facebook page because that is where we try to inspire people. Take a look at it. You don't have to be in the same industry um, to get ideas. Okay, so um, I, I want to put a call out to uh, Body Essentials too. They do an awesome job um, with video and they have this uh, Tuesday, I think it's Tuesday fashions or, or 
some kind of thing they do with uh, fashion shows. It's really inspirational. Uh, and they're out of Shano, Body Essentials. So, but if I, you know, I like to share things like that, share information. Um, you guys watch our Facebook page, go to our website, check out the events. We have more events coming up. And again, I, um, oh yeah, Sandy. Okay, she, Sandy is right. I, want, I was gonna show you how to use, take a look at that hashtag. Any, any of you, um, I'm gonna flip the screen back around really quick, okay? And um, I wanna show that, um, I'm gonna show you something about the hashtag that I said I was gonna do. And um, I don't want you to mind my craziness on my screen here. Let's see here. And I'm gonna go to my Facebook page, all right? But I'm gonna show you how that clickable link thing works. I just gotta find a hashtag. Ooh, we're a little slow here today. Trying to keep up with things here. I'm gonna go to dynamic designs. All right, so that hashtag thing, um, let's see here. We're gonna find one here, this is gonna be cool. All right, let's see here. A little slow. I'm sorry, you guys. The, the Wi-Fi, I call it the Wi-Fi, is a little slow here today. Um, let's see here. Let's go back up the weekly inspiration. Does it? Weekly inspiration. Oh, yeah. Okay, right here. Okay. So, do you see this? It's, um, here it is, and it's kind of, it lights up like it's a link, right? So, if you click on that now, Look at this, it takes us to a feed that has all of the weekly inspiration. So it's searchable. So this is all of the weekly, in look at here's another post that we had, weekly inspiration. So um, this is, a, again, the hashtag thing, if you learn anything from this today, the hashtag thing is a really great thing for you guys to, to use. Um, all right, so that was the last thing that I think I wanted to share with you. So I'm just gonna flip this back around. All right, any, any other questions? Um, okay, Lois is excited. She's excited for the gift. All right, so again, thank you all for joining us this morning. It's, um, it's 8.52, we did awesome. And again, reach out to me, any questions. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow up with an email. You're gonna get the presentation link, so feel free to share that with anybody. Um, and you're also gonna get any follow-up questions. Um, so I'm gonna put those on there. I'm gonna put the free tools right in the email too, so you have that. And then, um, and then we'll go from there. But I wanna thank you all for joining us. Make sure you check out our website page on the events page and join us next time as well. Um, again, you guys have a great day. And again, I'm Dynamic Tammy, Dynamic Designs. Take care. Sweet.